So today we are going to continue with the Ford Edge interface. Not just Ford Edge, this is what Ford's new interface looks like if you have the higher trims and the sexy touch screens, as they call it. So we're gonna add a phone. It's gonna, this is how we do Bluetooth. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. There we go. Select one of the devices found by SIG. Confirm that the pin displayed on so I'm gonna press pair. the pin displayed on your device. Allow. So that's the number that I saw on my phone, so yes. Okay, so on my phone it said if I wanted to use CarPlay, I said yes. On here, we say yes. And there we go. We're connecting the Apple CarPlay. It was that simple. Look at that, that's such a clean interface. We're going to look at the Apple CarPlay interface. This is a 2022 model, Ford Edge ST. And I just want to look at the different apps. So actually, this oh, look here. This is one of my favorite screens because it shows you a little bit of everything. Your destinations, the route you can take there, and your music. Another feature you can go to is your phone. It's exactly how it is on your phone. Just nice and, you know, simplified. I don't have Apple Music, but you can go to it. And here's all the music that I downloaded when I was 11. It is a little laggy because I'm on the phone and it's on Bluetooth, so it's kind of tripping out. You can go to Calendar. It shows you today and tomorrow events. Uh, we can go to Audible. I like Audible a lot. Uh, this is great. So this is a screen I like looking at. Because if you press this, if you hold it, it will go 30 seconds back. If you hold this, it will go 30 seconds forward. Same thing with music. I think music, it goes a little bit shorter since like 10 seconds. So that's nice to know. And then you have all your books here on Audible. Pretty handy. So if you click on a group chat, boom, then it will play the, the voice narrator in the car will tell you what the text said so ryan liked my message and it, it's gonna say in this group chat blank liked your message or what they said um, ryan said go get more gaffers tape so it will tell you that and that's pretty cool because you don't have to look at your phone it's just like listening to a book but it's your text that's pretty sick i do love the apple CarPlay Maps interface. What I love about it, once we get it going, is that I can share my destination with a contact, share my ETA. I'm going home, so I'm just gonna share my ETA. I'm gonna share my ETA with Diego. He's currently living in New York, so uh, I wonder what he's gonna be thinking. <laughs> there we go. So it's gonna say sharing with Diego and when I Get there, he'll get a message saying that I got there. That's pretty cool. All right So this is the last interface I want to show you Spotify Definitely one of my favorite looking interfaces Once again, this is the screen I do spend most of my time on great So I leave it on here people know what I'm playing We play only good music and you can check your recently played you can search something um, with Surrey, so it's safe. That's pretty cool. And then your library of playlists and all these. All right, and the last one we got here by going to settings, driving focus, activate with CarPlay. So when I activate this, it's gonna tell people that I have focus on. And when I'm driving, it's gonna say, Brandon can't talk right now, he has focus on. It can be a little bit annoying for someone sending you a message, um, but more safe. You can go white or always dark. I like always dark. You can have a wallpaper actually. <laughs> That's kind of neat. We're in an ST, so let's let's do this one. That's kind of cool. I dig that. Let's go back. That is snazzy. That is snazzy. I love it. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.